Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you all? I hope you will be fine by the grace of Allah Almighty. Dear students, in the last lesson you have learnt about the sun and the stars. You have also learnt about the reason or causes of day and night, about the rotation of the earth. So today we will continue our lesson and we will learn more about the sun and the stars. So let's begin our today's lesson. Dear students, in the last lesson, you have learnt about the sun and the stars. There are billions of stars in the universe and the sun is also a star. But sun provides heat and light to the earth as it is our nearest star because sun is nearer to the planet earth as compared to the other stars. So it provides us with light and heat. Without the sun there would be no daylight on our planet because on our planet earth because all the planets have no light and heat of their own. So for us for the planet earth as we are living on the planet earth so as living on the planet earth we have no other source of heat and light. Just a single source of heat and light to the earth is the sun. So it is also a star I told you and it provides us, it gives us heat and light. Now dear students, we have talked about day and night, the causes of day and night also in the last lesson. You have seen the sun appears to rise in the east in the morning and climb higher and higher in the sky towards midday. So in the afternoon the sun then seems to move low. It seems to not actually is happening but seems to move lower and lower in the sky before setting in the west. So what happened? This is because it looks like that because of our earth's rotation or because of the movement of the earth as I told you, I have explained you in the last lesson about the rotation and about the movement of the earth around the sun. This movement of the earth or rotation in the other in other words you can say rotation. So because of that rotation of the earth these days and nights occur. The cause or causes of day and night is the movement of the earth. Okay dear students. So this is all about I have to tell you in this lesson about the cause of day and night and you should remember keep it in your mind that the cause of day and the reason behind day and night is that day changes into night and night changes into day is the rotation or the movement of the earth. Okay, so let's go and we will read uh, uh, some sentences uh, from the science book also and with that I will explain you more about it. Okay dear students, now open up your book page 46 and uh, unit 7 and it is the sun and stars. So I'm going to read, you have to read with me and then we will uh, go towards some uh, more explanation about the topic. 
first line I'm going to read is the sun is in the sky the sun is in the sky we can see the sun in the daytime we can see the sun in the daytime the sun is a big ball of hot gases the sun is a big ball of hot gases it gives off bright light it gives off bright light the earth gets heat and light from the sun the sun is very far from the earth the earth gets heat and light from the sun so dear students in the sentences we have read right now you have learnt that the sun is in the sky and we can see the sun during daytime and why um, because of the earth's rotation or movement as dear students you can see in this picture what you can see is that the earth is sphere or it is just like your football and it spins round and round around the sun it is spinning around the sun not only it is spinning or rotating the earth is also revolving around the sun from west to east like you can see in this picture not only these this earth is rotating on its axis axis is that imaginary line you can see that line uh, in the center of this earth planet earth this is called this imaginary line called axis so it rotates on its axis and this rotation causes day and night the part of the earth that faces the sun has daytime and the part of the earth that face away from the sun has night time at that moment so this causes day and night the side of the earth that faces the sun has daytime all the countries all the places that are in this part of the earth has daytime they that are in front of the sun that is facing the sun and all the parts that are facing away the sun that they face away from the sun they have night time okay dear students i hope you understood so uh, allah hafiz for today and take care